once you finished square one and square two, we're gonna go ahead and go to square three. Now I've used blue right here, so I don't wanna do blue again. I have purple, so I wanna skip purple. Um, if I wanted to, I could probably use orange again, but we do have lots of colors here. So I've been kind of going from cold and warm, warm to cold. Purple is a cold color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a warm color. And I've used all the warm colors. I've used yellow, I've used orange, I've used pink. Um, so I'm gonna use one of those. Now I used yellow before, but it was just a small amount of yellow. And the square is kind of big. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use yellow for my third square. Remember, we're starting with our small brush for outlining. Dip, dip, just the tip. And we want to make sure that we don't forget the inside of our donut like Mr. O did on the very first one. So I'm going to go into our whole shape. I'm going to outline it first. And because this is such a small shape, I can fill it in using this small brush, spreading the paint out so there's no big globs. Now that the inside has been outlined, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to outline the outside of my donut. Remember, since we're done with the brush, uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean it right away. And we'll wipe any extra globs of paint off. Just pulling and lifting, pulling and lifting. Not a lot on, and then I'll rinse in the water. Get the extra water off, just double check it. I'll spike up the hair to keep it nice and ready for the next person. I'll move my cleaning stuff out of the way. We can go ahead and get a bigger brush for our bigger area. And one thing that I noticed here is I forgot to outline my box. And that's okay, because we can still do that with a bigger brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna make my wall on the top, so that way I'm not painting by accident into my blue. And then I'm going to go down the line so that I don't get yellow into box number four. With the big brush, we can go ahead and start painting, pulling, lifting, pulling, lifting. Again, really spreading the paint out spreading it out any blobs or globs we want to just keep spreading it the more we spread it the more of the shape we fill in and the less paint get that gets wasted so I really like to spend time spreading or smoothing out the paint
Remember, if you have a lot of extra paint, we can go ahead and we can just wipe it on our painting. But if you just have a small amount, we can wipe it on our paper towel. Pull, lift, pull, lift. Once the brush is pretty dry, we can rinse it in the water. Double check it. As long as we don't see any yellow, we can spike up our hair so it's ready for us to use or the next person. Yeah, we can move. 